name? Uh, Aaron Fuller. Aaron Fuller. Oh, I didn't recognize you with your hair up like that. All right. Um, you guys are starting to get some separation on the def against defensive backs. You guys did a lot more passing today to the receivers than I think we've seen in the last uh, couple of games. Uh, how good did it feel to get out there and just kind of uh, get some balls thrown your way? Oh, it was great to let loose like this. I mean, being a receiver, you like having the ball in your hands. So, I mean, whenever Jake can throw it around, I mean, we love to have it. Go score, get in the yards, all that kind of stuff. Having fun on the sideline. And to watch Dante do his thing out there on punt returns, and it's your turn up. Um, surprised they're kicking to, to you guys? Oh, yeah. I mean, he's probably the greatest I've ever seen. The greatest of all time, probably coming up. I mean, uh, second to nine. He, for some reason, he gets out of everything like Houdini. So I mean, it's great watching him and learning from him every time. So every time I go out there, I get like, something to add to my game. And has he taken you under his wing, sort of uh, mentored you as a young guy coming up? Or um, can you talk about your relationship with him? Uh, well, definitely. I mean, we jokingly call each other father and son all the time. And uh, I mean, after that, that last time we turned to get this, uh, tied into the record. I went up to him and I was like, yeah, I mean, you can call me, you can call me son from now, and I'll, I'll, I'll be the son. So, I mean, we we have fun all the time. All right. Is this team ready for Pac-12 play? I think so. I mean, I mean, uh, offense is clicking. The defense is playing great as, as usual. So I mean, we'll see how the other teams go. I mean, we're on a week-to-week -week basis, so we never really look too far ahead. So I mean, we'll see. But I think we're doing pretty well right now. Yeah. Is that? I mean, you want the goal is to always kind of be you know, even kill, like you said. The way this, these coaches appreciate the, the faceless opponent. It doesn't matter if you're playing sure. right, but you also this is why. You come here, right? Yeah, exactly. Like, oh, yeah. I mean, this, I definitely came here for the big football. I mean, uh, but no matter the opponent, we play hard. Uh, coaches always say, even no matter uh, if they're in the Power Five conference or not, I mean, we got to go out there and play our type of football. Because, I mean, at the end of the day, it matters about us, not anybody else. Texas is pretty close to Colorado. Are you going to have a lot of family up there for the game in Boulder? Uh, we'll see. We'll see. I, they haven't talked to me yet. I haven't really asked them too much about it, but uh, we'll see if they'll make the drive. Usually, I got a, a couple of people to come out. Was it hard to keep from looking forward to net, what's on the schedule next week, or did you guys have, as a team, really stay focused on Fresno State? Uh, it's not too hard at all. I mean, the coaches always talk about staying focused on who our opponent is uh, that week and not looking too far ahead because, I mean, any, it's college football. Anybody can be anybody at any given day, so I mean, it's not too bad. What have you learned about this team after three games going to the conference? Um, I would say we're just real gritty. No matter the opponent, no matter what type of situation we're in, we're playing hard, uh, doing our jobs, playing each play as, as it comes, and uh, any, opponent, any opponent, we play hard. Has anything surprised you about the way that any of these games have gone? The one thing that surprised me is I mean, Dante. Taking a punt back every game, that's, that's, not, that's not easy to do. So, I mean, that's probably the biggest thing that stood out. Are you working in as the as the next guy now that Chico? If when Chico doesn't play, you're the next guy up for the punt return. Uh, I mean, it's just whoever Coach Pete throws out there. There's no really what he likes to say is there's a seating chart, not a depth chart. So I mean, uh, any week it could change. So I mean, if he wants me out there, then I go. If he wants Chico, whatever comes in. Well, what was your reaction when you got called? I mean, I enjoy just just getting in the game. I, mean, I love football. Football is. I mean, one of the, I've been playing since I was five. So. Getting in there every time is just it's fun to do. And how would you kind of characterize the the first three games, knowing that uh, you got a big one to call around on next weekend? Uh, we have a lot to learn. I mean, we played some great football and not some not great football. So I mean, we need to learn on, on our mistakes and uh, change that because each opponent is going to have things that we did wrong and try to come and attack us with it. And how would you kind of describe the the the, the rise in your game from year one to year two? I, just, I would like to say I got smarter. Like the game kind of slowed down a little bit. I can see the coverages, read those. You know, I'm more comfortable with the plays. I can play inside or outside. And then I got people like Dante to learn from, and then John Ross who left, and then even Braden, who's played a lot of football, to like mentor me as my game progresses. What was the biggest thing that John taught you? Just to just to play hard, pretty much. I mean, use your talents to to beat DBs and all that kind of stuff, and uh, not to give up. Because I mean, he went through all types of injuries and came back and was one of the best players I've ever seen.